Jeff Axon, Choice Woodman with you. Another edition of Ballin' Out, and the Red Raiders did ball out last night, picking up a W over the number six Texas Longhorns. It's three wins in a row over top 15 teams at United Supermarkets Arena. Maybe too little too late in the grand scheme of things, but, man, Hax, I don't know about you, it feels good to just get back to some winning ways. Uh, and especially against your rival in sure. Texas and the atmosphere that was there. And, you know, there's some magic back in United Supermarkets Arena there for a while. We suffered losses with West Virginia and Oklahoma and, and games that you just didn't think were possible sure. with losing. And I think the, the, the biggest thing that the, that's tying this all together is you found a way to overcome a lot of adversity, let your youth grow up, and I think our, our veterans have grown up some, too, to kind of mesh together, just piece it together for a, a product now that can go out on the floor and win. Yeah, I think that's that's exactly right. You saw veteran leadership on the floor. And we've seen spurts of it, but you really saw them just kind of take over the game last night. Davion Harmon, career high, 25 points. He had 21 of those in the first half to really just give you the hope that you're going to win the game. Uh, right. Kevin O'Banner comes up big in several moments. And then Fardal's AMAC kind of found money, if you will, with AMAC because you don't know what you're going to get every night. But he comes up with some huge minutes, a huge assist, 12 points, eight rebounds. Those three guys are the reason you won that basketball game. Yeah, he shows a lot of fight. He, that foot is not 100%. Yeah. I don't think it's really that close to 100%. But still enough to get up and down the floor. Still mm -hmm. enough to go up and get a dunk. Still enough to get eight rebounds. The team just plays better when he's on the floor. And Mark Adams has said that he is a really good communicator on defense especially. Yeah. Maybe that's why we've seen this defense jump up a level because of that communication that he brings and the size that he brings. Yeah, so you've definitely seen a, a uh, an improvement on defense, and that's correlated with your wins lately. So we'll see what happens. Red Raiders get a few days off, kind of a big break in the middle of conference play, five days off before heading to Morgantown, and we'll preview that one for you later in the week. For Jeff Haxton, I'm Choice Woodman here with the Double T Sports Network.